Howdy folks, and welcome to Grandpa's Game Garage. I'm Stephen George, Internet Grandpa, and your game mechanic for today. Today's level is Lucky Pirate Dom Barrel, programmed by Bori. And I'm going to be honest with you, I have no idea what that even means. And the thumbnail doesn't help me. But it's highly rated, so let's give it a shot. Lucky Pirate Dom Barrel. Okay, so it says... Video... Poker? Do... Do... Dozier? I think it's poker? I don't know what it is. X and Y chance played. A, B... What? Oh, change player. A, B, insert... So oh! Oh, I understand. So you're stabbing the... Oh, okay. Oh, this is, um... Okay, I understand now. And you can ch you can play with up to three people, and they can, you know... You know, player two can say, Okay, well, I'm gonna stab here. And they're still okay, so it probably randomizes it each time. Are you dead? Maybe some of you, like, understood immediately what this was. I don't know if... This is a, like, a... a like, from based on the title or the imagery you, you knew, but, like... I've seen this concept before, but not in, like, a million years. Also, I've, I've already lost what color I was on. <laughs> Yellow? How many reds and... I think it's time for a green one. Are you dead? I'm assuming one of these kills you. How are you still alive? You're still smiling, okay. It's a 50-50 shot, man. Or is it just always the last one? Oh, that's how it works. It's always the last one. Oh, that is a very dramatic kill cam. That's how it works. So, you know what? I bet this is... I, I bet this is maybe played similarly to, um, you know that Mario Party minigame where like you have to collect fruit and you can either place zero, one, or two? That would probably be a better way of playing this. Like, player one goes and is like, I'll put two swords in. And player two's like, cool, I'll put two swords in. And player one says, I'll put two swords in. And player two says, I'll put one sword in. And player one says, I'll put one sword in. And player two says, I'll put two swords in. And then player two's, and then player one's like, okay, how many more are there? I'll put two in. No, it is random. It is random. So you're telling me that on the first try I played this game, I just went all the way through the. Th That's nuts. How did I get? I, man, I'm very confused how I got that lucky. Anyway, this is cool. This is well done. And I, you know what I like, I think, most about this? Is that so often you see, especially on, on really early Game Builder Garage levels, you'll see just kind of like generic 3D world with, you know, grass and platforms, etc. And a lot of times it feels as if the... The games that are like really in depth, really involved, have have used like pixel art. They're doing 2D stuff. This is interesting because it's taking very normal generic shapes to create new assets. So like, there is not a barrel, right? But you can just take the shapes and and form a barrel, and that's really cool to me because that changes it up completely. I like that a lot. I think that's really creative. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it is Friday? 
which means that we have a viewer question. This viewer question asks, what is your favorite anime opening? If you're not a big anime person, um, you may not have a favorite. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer in kind of a weird, a weird way. Um, I'm gonna say, and this this is not quite in the spirit of the question, but it's somewhat. I'm gonna say Dragon Ball GT. And I couldn't actually tell you what that anime opening looks like, but I can tell you the song. And it's, it's just kind of an interesting story because way back when the internet was uh, first grappling with peer-to-peer um, uh, -peer networks, and I as a young boy had learned what Napster was, I'm on Napster and I'm, I'm thinking about the things that I like and I type in Dragon Ball Z because at that, at that time and that age, I was really into Dragon Ball. And there was a Dragon Ball theme song that came up and I was like, neat. And I played it and I was like, what is this? And it was the theme song to Dragon Ball GT. And I did not know that at the time. And at the time I did not know Dragon Ball GT was a thing that existed. To this day, I actually still haven't watched Dragon Ball GT. Someone sent it in on DVD and we have it. We just haven't gotten around to seeing it. But it was really neat to me as a kid because it spurred like a rabbit hole where I eventually was like, I learned what Dragon Ball GT was. So it's, I don't know that it's necessarily even my favorite anime song, like opening song, but I have a lot of memories related to that specifically because there was that bewilderment of like discovering something that you didn't know existed. And then that leading to a lot of other information of like, oh wow, there's an, there's an entire other Dragon Ball series that I've never heard of. And now it is fairly, regarded as not great, and I don't think it's even canon. I still want to see it. Someday. Alright, that's it. ggrandpa.com if you get some time this weekend, uh, rate some levels, or maybe submit some levels, some cool levels that you find online, and uh, I'll be back next week for more Game Builder Garage. Oh, and good luck on Black Friday. And I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Probably could have mentioned that before. It's fine.